Fair enough. All right, so now we're, we're revisiting Bodog, even though this is your first time fighting for them. And you fight Jorge Masvidal in a I've heard of him. controversial, uh, in my opinion, it was a controversial loss. I, I would think most people would think that. I mean, if you watch the fight, I would assume you'd think it's controversial. I, I don't have any doubt that I won that fight. There's quite a few fights in my career that were really close, split decision losses, could have went either way. I don't think that was one of those fights. I'm pretty sure I won that fight. Um, but judges gave it to him, so I, I can't say a whole lot about it other than, you know, I've watched – I've rewatched that fight probably four or five times, you know, just – especially with him having all that success. i kind of curious just to go back to see how we did against each other, and I'm pretty sure I should have won that fight. So you're checking all the boxes years later going, yep, yep. <laughs> Miguel was cage side, and I think me and Justin both give him kind of dirty look when they read – uh or uh george's name so yeah i i thought i won that fight now, how was i with was, him going up until that fight like uh did he have the same persona as now or was a little more relaxed amped up like how, how was he at that point I, i'm i don't really care for the guy that's probably one of the only that's really the only fighter i can think of in my career that i really dislike there's a few guys that were kind of <laughs> cold shoulder to you a little bit you know not friendly so it's it's not that they're you know being rude to you but they don't want to talk they're not wanting to give hugs after the fight you know they're just going there do their job and get out and they don't want any more to do with you which is fine but he's really the only guy i fought that was really like disrespectful you know cocky in the ring showboating you know <clears throat> trash talking before and it just to me and I, I know if, if fans I'm not like mistaken, that, he, he fought your brother too, didn't he? He did. Yeah. He, uh, he won a, uh, I, that was another fight that probably easily could have been a draw. Um, even though, uh, Jorge got the better of the fight, you know, undoubtedly Jorge got the better of that fight, but the first round, I think Justin may have edged him out and Jorge dominated the second round and it was a two round fight. So yeah, he's got he's got two wins over the Wisniewski brothers. Do you recall any of the things that he was saying to you pre-fight that they kind of turned you rubbed you wrong? You know, it wasn't just me. I've been around him, seen him fight other places. He just he trash talks a lot. You know, I was there with a, a girl came down there with me, he was blowing kisses to her. You know, before the fight <laughs> and stuff. Oh, just, oh no. I mean, it's kind of hard to explain for me. I like playing sports and MMA is a sport. You know, I, I'm going to be 40 here in a few months and I still like going out and playing basketball or football, but you know, you get those guys that make it personal. They're, you know, it's a little bit, it's fun to have a little friendly trash talk, you know, and, and you want to be competitive, but he was kind of like that, like a Tito Ortiz type played a character. You know what I mean? And he was, he made it, always trying to showboat and be center of attention. And I just don't care for that personality. And it's not as fun for me to compete. I like Steve Berger. I fought, you know, earlier in my career and Steve, I'd been around Steve a lot. We'd fought on a ton of cards together. We sat in the locker room and talked to each other for like two hours before we fought. I mean, we're wrapping our hands sitting next to each other at a table. Good. Good guy. Yeah. You no, know, a real good guy. And then probably 15 minutes before the bell's going to ring, I'm like, hey, Steve, I'm going to go back to my locker room, but really nice talking to you. Good luck out there. You know, and most of my fights were like that, you know, and I, right. I'll go out there and fight as hard as I can till the bell rings. And then after the fight, we usually go have a beer. I wouldn't want to have a beer with Santiago or uh, Masvidal. Just All right. 